Good morning, everyone. It's day, technically day two for me, day three if we include the travel. But today is our first day uh, being at our dealer tables and actually seeing if we can make some money. By the way, check this out. It is soaking wet outside this morning. Let me darken this up here a little bit. So this will make for a very interesting morning. By the way, uh, if you haven't met Roy, you don't know that he is an absolute Disney themed. Uh, th this man lives and breathes everything Disney. Borderline idolatry. <laughs> except, except for the new, except for the new live action stuff. Yeah, not impressed with Disney with the new live action stuff. And why is that? I'm an animation snob. Yeah. Well, so am I. So am I. I love the hand-drawn 2D stuff. And and I, I it takes longer, but the quality was so much better. But I do admit, Disney did fix one thing. The first Mulan, the first uh, um, uh, Aladdin, the first whatever. Excellent animation. Where they messed up is the sequel. Oh, and, yeah. And the direct video, it's... You, the home viewer, are the premiere. <laughs> so true. And, and and they would be abysmal. The quality of the animation dropped by so much because you could tell that they took secondary or, or, or third artists that are just getting their, their start and they throw them under the, the table to do the work. But truth be told, there was something so beautiful about hand-drawn animation. There's a lot to be said of the old original style. Of course, those of us of an older generation we kind of were set in our ways and I get all that. I like CG. do a lot of computer work myself so I, I appreciate that art form as well. I just have a place in my heart yeah. for the old style 2D stuff. I love Mulan was 2D Princess and the Frog was 2D you know, but uh, Tangled great movie. The yep. 3D animation is okay. Just the, the new live action CG I'm not big on. Ready for day one, Roy? I'm ready. You know what I'm ready for? What are you ready for? I'm ready for day five. <laughs> Can we start at the last day? All right, monitors here. This is great. So now I'm just getting my iPad set up so that I can uh, share. I, I need to learn to look at you when I'm talking because I know the microphone doesn't hear me when I look away. I'm trying to set this up now so that I can draw digitally and people can watch the digital happening on the screen while I do it. Uh, so that way they're not looking over my shoulder. I don't mind people looking over my shoulder, but it allows them uh, another fun way to be able to do this. This is going to work out really well. Apple did something absolutely perfect for once when they created Apple TV to be able to mirror what's happening on my iPad without needing a Wi-Fi connection. I mean, that in itself is just pure genius. I don't know how they did it, but I absolutely love it because I can take an Apple TV, hook it up to any TV I want that has HDMI input, and be able to share what's going on here on any screen at all. So now the bigger that monitor would have been, the better it would be, but this is fantastic because people can see what I'm doing on the screen there as I'm drawing people sitting here. It gets a lot of interest. Um, brush your teeth in the morning. Which hand is your dominant hand, right or left? Okay. Have you ever hurt your hand, decided to try and brush your teeth or do anything with your opposite hand? It is miserable. You're like, I got this, it's fine. And you hear it and you're like, Oh no, wait, no, turn the brush. <laughs> you know, you're fighting with it. Why is that? Your non-dominant hand isn't stupid. It's because your brain is not communicating with your hand. You've trained one hand to do very precise movement, very precise stuff. Your other hand is junk. And I'll and, and here's the thing. I'm a professional artist. I've been doing it for years, right? And I'm I can draw at Disney and I can make a big fuss. If I draw a straight line with my right hand, trust me, that's actually a straight line. Left hand, I don't have the micro control to create that same line. And that's because I haven't taken the time to train this hand. So this one goes behind my back and everything's done with the dominant hand. So in the same way, your brain simply is not trained to work with your hand in the world of art. That's as simple as it is. Your brain just has to learn to communicate with your hand. Once you've made that communication, that connection, things start to work a lot better. All right, so a little update. It is, it is, I don't even know what time it is. What time? 5.30. 5.30. So 
I'd say everything's gone. You've done really well already in first day. Done good for a first day. Done so good for a first day. that's not bad. I've made one sales and the, the lessons were good. The class was really good. Um, I got, yeah, I didn't know they did reviews. Yeah, yeah, so, so there was written reviews on my class and I took a look at it and I was five stars across the board, which is great. Awesome. So, and everyone was saying it was fun. Uh, and one person said that it wasn't long enough, which I wholeheartedly agree. And then two people said I talked too much about myself and plugged my stuff too much. <laughs> Shocking, yeah, <I> right? <laughs> That's not unusual. I told my wife that and she's like, well, it's a conference. Aren't you supposed to plug yourself a lot? You don't worry about those sort of things. Yeah, no. I mean, come on, think about YouTube and all the negative comments. So yeah, all in all, I'm very satisfied with that. That that was a wonderful bunch of review for a very positive outlook everything went much smoother than I thought so we have like one more hour when the dealer room opens back up and I would love to see myself walk away with at least one more sale tonight before that night's out but I'm kind of assuming I'm assuming I'm probably done for the day so we'll see what happens tomorrow and needless to say I I just I, I have to keep reminding myself that the room was free, someone donated a lot of money for me to be here, and I still have yet to meet that person, or even hear of that person even being around. Um, I assumed they'd be in my class, but I have not seen anyone that would even resemble yeah, yeah, someone like that. So we're, we're kind of, we're I'm just truly, I mean, I know this person's name who donated just because the documentation says their name, but I have not heard that name spoken anywhere, and I'm hearing a lot of names thrown around during this whole thing. So, we're off to dinner. Uh, it's Asian food. Eat me! Which works pretty well because every time we walk through our hallway to our uh, room, it right. smells smelling. like Asian food like crazy, so we can go with that. And then uh, hopefully another sale or two and you and I got steak on the brain. Mm, Texas Steakhouse. Amen, baby. That's one. Total, total spoil. Okay, fine. I figured that's what you guys are doing, so I figured that's one. That's one. That's one. Um, I have no. What on earth did we just do in our film? This is annoying me that we didn't film this right. Okay. Our room is possessed. We are in a haunted room. It is the spirit of some dead animal. It's nasty. It reeks in here. So to try to exercised the uh, odiferous demon we uh, I sprayed a, an entire can of degree deodorant and Tim sprinkled holy water we <laughs> forgot to get the get it on film so hopefully uh, the holy water and some prayer we will exercise this odiferous demon and we're so incredibly thankful for the free room I mean that's amazing we thank our hosts for that but some dog has made its way through this room and done something miserable. It is god awful. Yeah, that's bad. It truly, I, I believe that, I don't know, I don't know what I believe. I just do believe that something has died in here. It is nasty. Probably the previous person who rented. Uh, could be, could be. <laughs> so yeah, I, he, he sprayed, I grabbed my stuff, which is like the blue aqua, aqua whatever. Aqua velva? Aqua velva, and I'm just like dousing it all over the floor. So right now there is a mist in the room that you may or may not be able to see. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> and I gotta admit, right now the, the new straw smell is pretty strong too. Well, now it smells like death and roses. <laughs> well, that, that sounds like a band to me. <laughs> Guns and roses. Yeah. Well, you know, before it just smelled like death. Now it smells like death and roses. Here we go. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this one for the day. Once again, we do thank our hosts very much. We appreciate it. They're actually in the room right across the hall, so they probably have their own stuff they're dealing with too but uh we're gonna say good night on this one hope you enjoyed this uh and yeah we'll see you tomorrow bye